You guys know where we are, man. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna start over. <laughs> you guys know where we are, man. We're at the gym. Better go in here, hit arms. Two things I wanna talk about. The guy just left his cart, just sitting there. I swear to God, if that shit hits my truck, I'm gonna break. Two things I wanna talk about. I switched up my split yesterday. I started off the week with legs. Um, then after that, like today, I'm gonna hit arms. Uh, tomorrow I'll hit chest and shoulders. Now when I hit shoulders and chest together, I do like a full chest workout. And for my shoulders, I just hit my side delts. Next I hit back by itself. So that's usually where I do my rear delts at. Also, I feel like when I do a lot of my chest exercises as far as incline bench press or incline dumbbell press, it hits a lot of your uh, front delts. So I really don't work like front delts a lot anymore. That's one thing I wanna talk about, my new split. Second thing I wanna talk about is I'm actually going on a cut. So it's been going pretty good. I feel like I've definitely lost a couple pounds between work working in a warehouse. Man, I've been turning up the intensity in the gym. You guys can see today. I'm not going light on any exercise ever again. Okay, let me rephrase that. I'm gonna turn up the intensity on like all my workouts. From this point forward, no light shit. I mean, we're just about to fucking crush it. We might go to failure. Probably are gonna go to failure on a lot of these arm exercises. Let's just hop in there, dude. Let's get straight to it, man. Most of my arm exercises I hit are gonna be over here, this area. On a machine, I, for example, always start off with biceps, just because I feel like my triceps are bigger than my biceps. Could just be me, could be body dysmorphia. I always start off with curls, get the blood flow going, kind of go from there. Going back to why I hit biceps first, I treat it like a like an imbalance. Like obviously, if your left arm is bigger than your right arm, you hit your left arm first in your exercises, or as I would hope so. So since my triceps are bigger than my biceps, I'm gonna hit my biceps first and not do my triceps after. Um, like I said in the intro, man, we're going hard today. Pre-workout already down. We got the ones on today. I don't know if you guys can see them. We got the ones on today. I don't know how many sets I'm gonna record of each workout. I work well in my uh, middle two sets, my two heaviest sets. I used to start off like first set kind of lighter, second set is heavy, third set is my heaviest, my fourth set is usually kind of like a back off set, if you want to call it that. So I kind of go lighter for that last set, make sure I get as many reps as possible. Without any further ado, let's get into this arm workout, man. I think we're starting off on this curls. We start off on 60 pounds. A little something to get us going. So at the first set, we didn't go to failure. Uh, I did like 20 some reps on 60 pounds. We'll go to about 80 pounds on the next one. Uh, I'm not gonna go to failure until probably the last set. So I'm gonna shoot between, uh, try to do between like 12 to 15 reps in my two middle set, 40 second reps between each set, so 80. Fuck it, I'll record this whole set, fuck it. <sighs> Went up in weight, we're sitting at 110 right now. Like I said, it's my third set. So this will be my heaviest set. We're still gonna aim for about 12 to 15 reps. After this, we'll go down in weight. Probably go back up to like maybe uh, 60, 70 pounds, rep it out. I already feel a little pump in my biceps, but uh, it's not enough. It's never enough. So let's get into it. <sighs> That's a good set, really good set. All right, we got the last set. Went down to 60 pounds, probably at least 20 or so. Just last little set out. Focus on form, even though I'm going heavy, I'm still making sure my form is good. Make sure I'm not swinging. The elbows tucked in. Like I said, I'm gonna record only two sets of every exercise. So that's a nice little uh, extended view you guys got. Do some pulls, next exercise. Two things just like a hammer curl, pretty much with dumbbells. You got the same way. Just imagine you have like a dumbbell in your hand. Just pull it straight up. Third set, go light or got on one 10. 
I'm gonna go lighter show you guys. So if you do these, it's a good thing to do. Keep your back straight, elbow stuck. Same thing with doing a curl. You don't wanna pull too much. You wanna keep everything nice and tight. Straight up, straight down. Like so. You don't wanna come out this way. You don't wanna pull with your back. You don't feel in your forearms, elbows tucked in, straight up, straight down. Like I said before, it's kind of like holding a, a, uh, a dumbbell in your hand. You can do dumbbell curls, you go up, down, same thing. These, same thing, just up, straight back down. Pretty much just kind of sort of like a curl. Um, all they do is exercise a lot. <clears throat> Figured I'd bring out a bolt for today, special occasion, arm day. So you guys are welcome. Pick a weight that's comfortable for you with any exercise you do. You should grab this side. You can flex pretty much all you're doing. Keep your elbows, triceps, flat, flex in front of the whole gym. Show them who's a fucking man. Depends what you're doing. When you do this exercise, just like asserting your dominance over everybody. I mean, that's pretty much it. Might need to go down and wait a little bit. This side, same thing. Keep it flat. And just curl. I've actually seen a female uh, doing these before, like a long time ago when I first started working out. I was just amazed at the sheer dominance that she had over everybody by doing this exercise. So I figured I'd give it a try. I'm actually not gonna go up or down and wait on these because you don't have to go heavy on these right here like right now i mean i'm sitting at 30 pounds i can only do like 12 each arm so i mean that's acceptable for me all right i should 20 because i was doing 12 i should 20. like i said i don't do the exercise a lot I just kind of brought out a vault for today. Out of the day, I'm locking it back in the vault, throwing away the key, so I'll never do that again. You're welcome. Preacher curls, dude. I've seen people fuck up their bicep. Plenty of time doing preacher curls, like on videos. Number one thing, please, pick a weight that's comfortable for you. Don't go too heavy on this exercise. I feel like you're about to snap something, just drop the weight. Like don't keep trying, don't don't overdo it. Uh, don't try to ego lift, because you will snap something. So when you're doing these, you get to this point right here, and you can't, literally can't get it up, drop it. Don't keep pushing, because you just risk, you just risk an injury at that point. So uh, my words of advice. But starting off 25s, we'll work our way up to 45s, hopefully. <sighs> also, make sure this is a weight. We're going down, and we're getting pulled out this way. Have to sit back down to pull it back to you. You want to make sure it's a comfortable weight. Uh, so, what I'm saying is, like, we're going down. You don't want to be coming all the way out here and then all the way back this way. Keep your comfortable weight. Keep your ass in a chair. Keep your ass in a chair. And just curl. Also, I'm doing uh, inside gripped. Get more of the uh, inner bicep. The peak, as people call it. So, it's another thing. Pretty curls, you can do either one. I always do these. So many exercises I do like on the uh, cable machine, work your overall, like outside of your bicep. So I do these always uh, use inside grip with that peak. Cause I mean, you need that. Fucking 45s, that's a problem. I'm gonna try the 45s in a minute. Maybe I can get like two or three, you know, just bug it. I'm quit talking, hit this fucking weight. <sighs> Fuck it. 
at a 10. Uh, no, I'll fuck it. I'll set a 5. No, I'll fuck it. I'll set a 10. Fuck it. I know it's supposed to be like my bag offset, but fuck it. I'm going heavy on this shit. Fuck it. And I just found a quarter on heads, so that's good luck. It's all natty. Fuck it. Fuck it, done. Next exercise, concentration curls. Take your weight. Comfortable weight. Put my elbow in between, like, right here on my thigh, like the back part of my tricep here. Kind of on the inside part of my thigh. Grab the weight. Just kind of curl up this way. So you go straight up this way. That's why I usually do it. Uh, I see some people kind of curl it. Like, start off, curl it. Show what you want to do. This fucking cruiser girls killed my bicep. I used to not do concentration curls, but they're slowly becoming like one of my favorite like bicep exercises. Then run all the way up. Baby. What are these niggas be at? When they say they're dual artists and all that? No. This is just like another bicep curl machine, but I fucking love this machine. Like, I always forget about it, but I fucking love this machine, right? Six is not shit, but I'm telling you, feel every bit of it, dude. Mm. You got a good squeeze, good pull. It's amazing. I'm gonna do three sets of these. Uh, just kept going up in weight. I think I'm at, I'm at 50 pounds. I'll do 260 pounds. 150 pounds be the last set. I think I look bigger on camera. I'm not that big in person. I think I look taller on camera too. I'm only like 5'2 in real life. Short king. I'm gonna go ahead and go into triceps. Go ahead and knock them out. The, uh, I like cable machine, it's been used, so I decided I come into this cable machine. Start off with, uh, start off with some pull downs. I don't really like this cable machine, but I mean, it is what it is. I feel like this was like super light. Uh, I'm almost like at the full stack already. I hadn't even really started. So I get to the full stack. I don't really feel anything, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the full stack. And uh, maybe I can feel something. Maybe I'm just heartbroken. Maybe I'm just cold. Maybe I'm just a savage, cold blooded. <laughs> Put a little bit with the whole stack. Back at the OG spot, and I got these. Tricep push downs. We got two sets left. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna hold side, dude. All right, that's a real hold stack. Felt all of that pause. Another exercise I'm pulling out of the bolt. I don't do this exercise a lot either, but pulling out the bolt for today. Overhead, tricep, extensions. When I do these, I put my right foot forward. It's like I feel it more in my right arm. And when I put my left foot forward, it's like I feel it more in my left arm. Could just be me, I don't know. But uh, I start these off always. I try to uh, get to this point, go out. So, coming out this way. So it's pretty much the same thing you're doing 
tricep pull down when you get to the bottom pulling out same shit but you're just doing it overhead same exact thing so we get to that point she want to go out and then when i get to the point where i feel like i'm about to fail the exercise i'll keep them together and just go straight out this way so i'll show you guys all right All right, so now I'm starting to fail. Put them together. Flip summary. Same thing as doing a tricep extension. Tricep pull down, I'm sorry. Start here, go out. All right, start here, go out. Just doing it overhead, starting here, going out. Um, like I said, when I do them overhead, I go out when I'm about to fail. When I get like 10 or 11, I'm about to fail. Instead of going out, just keep them together. Kind of just keep going. Uh, again, I don't, I don't just, ah, damn. I don't necessarily have to go like heavy on these. I mean, there's no point to go like super heavy because we're doing these to failure anyway. So I like get as many as I can get. I think two, try to alternate, so. I don't just uh, keep it on my, I don't usually just keep my right foot forward. I do my right foot forward, next set, left foot forward, next set, right set, right foot forward. So that shit three times fast. But yeah, I just alternate it. Like I said, right foot forward, I feel more on my right arm. Left foot forward, I feel more on my left arm. Maybe everybody's different. Straight forward instead of pushing out. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. That shit burns, dude. So you guys a secret to triceps. Alright. Pay attention. Hear me out. Let me cook. So doing your tricep extensions on a regular side. Do where you do your lat pull down. Start way up here. Come way down here. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. All right, like I said, let me cut. Look at this. All the way down here. So much more room for activity. Could you be me? I think it feels better. Do it where you do your lat pull down. Everybody got their preferences. I prefer to do it over here. Get to the point. So where you're kind of like, you know, you're kind of just you know, use your back, lower back. Use your back more than your triceps, lower weight. It means your weight's too high. It should always be a smooth motion like this. You shouldn't have to pull down and then like that. It should be a smooth motion. So if you're using your back, whatever, put the weight down or put the weight up, wait. Go lighter and wait. Fuck it. Come on. That's bad for him. Looks like you're doing a worm. You don't want that. Another variation. Tricep extension. I'll just go a little heavy on these. Go a little heavy on these and uh, really hit the tricep. The last set of this machine. I'm actually kind of sad because I love this fucking machine. A lot of people don't like it. So it hurts their elbows. <sighs> Shit. I promise I'm natty. New gym don't have one of these machines. Buy a new gym. <sighs> 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 